course in the Fairy River. The Fairy River, by the mysterious Morn Mountains, is a place full of strange and wonderful creatures. It is home to the fairies, who live among the mushrooms, weeds, and flowers. Bethany loved the flowers more than any other fairy. She spent days picking them, trying to find the most beautiful and fragrant petals. But no matter how many she picked, she was always sure that the next one would be nicer. Or that the flower just around the next rock or over the stream would smell so much better. One sunny day, when Bethany was busy searching for the perfect flowers, the most perfect petals caught her eye. It was a bright red flower growing on the bank of the fairy river. But just as she flew over to pluck it free, she heard the footsteps of a human child. Bethany called to Bria and Katie. They could never resist having a little fun with the humans. <laughs> Bria giggled and watched as the human turned to look her way. Katie rustled a leaf, distracting the human again as Bethany darted out of sight. As the child walked along the river, Katie and Bria laughed. As long as they were never found, the fairies loved to tease humans. But then, their laughing stopped. Katie and Bria looked around. Where was Bethany? Had the human seen her and taken her away? Had she flown off to find some more flowers? Where could she be? Then, all of a sudden, they heard her. Help! Bethany cried, and they rushed towards the sound of her voice. Peering over the riverbank, they saw what had happened. Bethany had fallen into the water. She was being washed away. They could see her splashing, but her wings were too wet to fly. They had to help her. But how? If they flew to grab her, they might fall in too. Every second they waited, they could see Bethany getting further away. But then, Bria noticed something by the riverbank. A bunch of beautiful flowers, one of every color. Quickly, Katie, Bria said. Pick up as many flowers as you can. Together, they grabbed them all and flew as fast as they could towards Bethany. As they flew, they took the thick stems in their tiny hands and wound them in and out of each other. Until soon, they had thread so many flowers together that they reached all the way across the river. With Katie on one bank and Bria on the other, they flew ahead of Bethany and lowered the flowers down. As the river rushed by and Bethany threw her arms about and splashed, she caught hold of the flower chain. Tugging with all of their strength, Katie and Bria pulled Bethany up and out of the water. She landed on the riverbank, flapping her wings dry. As the fairies all laid together, laughing with relief, they heard something coming their way. It was the human child. They were on their way back along the river. With a giggle, the fairies scampered out of sight, ducking behind mushrooms and weeds. A necklace, the child said, picking up the chain of beautiful flowers and draping it over her neck. The three fairies watched as the child skipped happily down Fairy River.